Good morning, Stephanie Kemmerman here today with the Daily Dark Pool Whispers for March 24th, 2020. So we're going to start with the SPY as usual. We had a massive dark pool level yesterday, 229.68. That's very, very big. 229.68, 35 million. We are going to watch this level like a hawk today. So yeah, I'm going to be bullish above 236. You can see I've drawn a, a little downward trend line here on the SPY up down up down up down right there we go it's been a little choppy <laughs> so we're really watching this very carefully uh, of course we're watching the eight exponential moving average which is around 241 yep we'll see if we can climb above that or not but if we do go down and close below 229.68 that is going to be bearish so watch that level really carefully so bear below 229.50 for the day trade and bull above 236. Let's go to the E-minis. E-minis, we're gonna be bullish above 23.60, bear below 23.20, which we did actually go below and we hit a target already. Uh, let's go to the Russell IWM. We had a very large level on that as well yesterday. 101.08, 7.7 million. I've bolded, as you can see, all the new levels there. That's going to be worth watching today. Are we going to be able to stay above that or not? So, yeah, we, I have a trade down to it, though. Bearish below 102.50, and you can see 101.08 retracement to the dark pool. That's a very popular pattern to see if they still want to buy there or not. If they don't, look out below. All right, let's go to the QQQ. Bullish above 181, bear below 176. We are above a few dark pool levels recent on the QQQs is 170.40 and 171.38. So it definitely is um, holding above that for now. We'll see if it can stay above that. Let's go to the oil futures. Yeah, let's get those on the chart here. Bull above 25.20 today. It's all the way above here. And bear below 24.50, we've already dropped down. And we hit this lower uh, trend line. Let me just get up the weekly chart. Yep, that is the key trend line that we are watching for this week. Yeah, are we gonna be able to hold above that or not? Yeah, it's only Tuesday, so so much can happen. And even sometimes they wait until Friday and then they just either push it up or push it down. So yeah, that candle doesn't truly form until the end of the day on Friday, but we could definitely trade this short term. Okay, so those are the key trend lines. So uh, bear below 24.50 and uh, okay, bullish above 25.20. Let's go to gold, holy cow, gold. Yeah, gold got a big pop. The 1700 level is really a uh, big resistance. Yep, going back a couple weeks here in this area. Yeah, between about 1692 and 1700. Yeah, so we'll see if we can climb back up above 1680. That's why if we can muster the strength to get back up there, then there's a good possibility uh, we could go higher, but that's really the key level right now. Bear below 1660, which we just went below for a retracement trade. Yeah, we could definitely come down to this trend line once again. Uh, all right, so let's go to the individual stocks. Just put these guys away. Yeah, I got tons of them for you guys today. All right, AMD. Bullish, I'm sorry, Apple first, not AMD. Apple, bull above 238 for Apple and bear below 
232 for Apple. We are just testing that pretty much right now. Yeah, we came up and tagged this uh, simple 250 right here. Yeah, that's a very powerful trend line. How many of you do not have this on your chart? The 250 SMA daily chart. Anybody here not have it? How about you guys in the training pit? Put it on your chart, it's free. All right, this is the best moving average. You can see, especially Apple loves it. It came down, hit it here. It couldn't hold it, right? So we went lower. And then this morning, we tagged it before moving down. So 250 SMA, it's amazing. Uh, most people don't have that. They have the 200 and not the 250. So, yep, so Apple, we're going to be up there below 232. Let's go to the next one, A. M D A M D bullish above 44 today and bear below 43 for AMD Microsoft Microsoft and uh, hey welcome Anna to the pit just doing the morning whisper right now but great to have you in here all right Microsoft we're gonna be bullish above 143 I did see a seller at 144 on the book. Let's see if he's still there. Yeah, he's still there on the INET book. Yep, and bear below 138. The reason I picked 138 is there was a huge dark pull print recently at 138.15. So that is why I'm using that as a key level today. Let's go to Tesla. Tesla, we're gonna be bullish above 475. Yep, and the reason I picked that level is because there's a big wall of resistance right here. Yeah, we have like three moving averages, the 8 EMA, the 120 simple moving average, and the 161 exponential. You probably don't have that on your chart. It's a really good one, 161 EMA. Um, and it's a brick wall, so bear below. 460 and uh, yep moving down right now hitting targets uh two targets already so yep let's go to uh, american airlines american airlines bullish above 1137 yep we just lifted above that to 1150 is a first target we had some prints at 1050 recently 900,000. And we seem to be holding above that. If we do go below 1050, that's going to be bearish for AAL. Let's go to Zoom. I know a lot of my traders have been trading this one. It's up thrusty today. Oh yeah, they totally tagged that 175 and sellers came in uh, for sure. Let's see, you can even see the volume. See the sp yeah, we had some spike of volume that came in right here. So they definitely sold right in this area, taking profit. So uh, we're going to be bullish above 160. Yep, if we do start to move up higher, bear below 155, and we just went below that. There was a, um, a buyer at 155 earlier, but it looks like they took him out. That's why I was bearish below it. All right, let's go to Bank of America. This is a huge winner yesterday. So today we're going to be bullish above 1950. And we're going to be bearish below 1850 for BAC. Let's go to gold. GLD had some prints on it yesterday. Uh, bull above 153. And bear below 148 for a retracement trade down to those prints. ExxonMobil had a pretty big print yesterday. Uh, bullish above 34 today, bearish below 31.75. And we have silver. Let's not forget about silver. Yeah, definitely. Looks like it wants to heat up. I'm gonna be bullish above 13.06. That's a 16th for those of you that are wondering why I picked that level. Yeah, I wanna go above a little bit of a teeny above 13. I did see some selling there when we got there. So that's why I bumped it up just a little bit. I do see a seller at 1320. Yep. 
Uh, we could fill that gap fill in, yep, or this could be a gap fake out. They take it to the strongest level before the gap fill, pull it back. So either way, watch those levels. We did have a very large print on it recently at 11.74, 1.5 million. There you have it, you guys. These are your whispers for March 24th, 2020. Until next time, happy trading. It's my secret.